Hello guys, welcome to Tech Design. In this tutorial, we will discuss on how to create a fitting port for this connector. As you can see here, this port, uh, we can create a sim simple uh, fitting port. And this side, as you can see on the left side, uh, we, it will be connecting to any of the, you know, uh, PCB board or any kind of board or any electrical component. And this side, we have an uh, electrical routing. So I need to create a fitting port on this side. So let us start creating a fitting port. So in order to create a fitting port, uh, you need to uh, go to qualify part. Uh, here we have inside the part. Uh, we have a qualify part over here and we are already discussed um, uh, what is qualify part and why, how we need to do why it is required to do uh, already explained in my uh, previous tutorial so please go and check it out so in this tutorial uh, so now we can see here let us keep this as a fitting and this is actually a connector so let us keep this as a connector and i'm just going to create a fitting so you can just select the fitting and go to new file here or else you can just right click and click on new so we have a multiple inputs over here uh, you can see here this is an origin so to uh, mention an origin you have uh, you know these kind of options you can just if you have already a point you can just go and uh, select the point so and then if we have a coordinate system you can just select that and face or two line two lines so now my point will be at the center of this face so inside there will be a face as you can see here for this center uh, i need to create a point so that is my fitting port point so what i'll do is i'll just go to se select a face and select this point uh, face so as soon as you select that face uh, you will have a created a point over there and then um, <clears throat> now uh, what I will do is I will need to give an uh, vector so this vector will always if you are selecting uh, you know face on this uh, origin then the normal to the face so we will have an vector so this is my vector through which you know uh, spline path should uh, travel so and if you have any you know rotation vector so rotation vector uh, what happens is suppose for example I will just give rotation vector uh, along this face so this face will be my rotation vector so what happens is uh, when you have a rotation vector along this direction uh, on this connector and in the same way we have the one more connector with the same uh, you know uh, rotation vector so when you give uh, an uh, you know alignment so it will come and fit over here with a zero degree angle if you want to you know uh, rotate this to 90 degree so you can just uh, rotate using this uh, rotation vector so I, th I think you don't understand it now uh, so let me you know uh, explain this in a later later and we have an engagements here engagement is the distance between this face to the you know connector side of the face and this we can keep it as a zero because the zero touch touch alignment should be there and extension is the you know <clears throat> we already discussed in the previous tutorial so extension if i give 10 mm as an extension so once you select this uh, you know uh, port what happens is uh, it will uh, extend along this direction a uh, spline path uh, will extend and go in this direction for a 10 mm and then it will take a deviation and we have a cutback length of which is uh, not required for this and what i will do is i'll just click ok so as soon as you click ok and you can see the fitting port here and this uh, this is the fitting port symbol uh, that we have said so this is actually a fitting port and uh, this side whatever we see here is a uh, rotation uh, uh, vector and this is actually a fitting vector so uh, when you go to spline path and uh, select this point so you can see the you know along this direction we have a path and once you select this path uh, you can see 10 mm is the you know uh, rotate uh, extension and if you want to increase you can just increase the forward extension and click ok so this is how it works guys so this is what the you know port that is created already on this uh, you know part uh, so this is how we need to qualify a part so <coughs> So now as you can see here, uh, this port is used to, you know, uh, travel and uh, spline path or a, rout a routing path. So uh, in order to make this fitting and uh, go and sit on to any other electrical component, you need to create one more port here on the other direction. So you we what we'll do is we'll just go to qualify part again and let us go and create a fitting port again new 
port and in this case you didn't need to queue a rotation vector because the rotation vector is not at all required in this uh, in this time so i'll just select this face and we have a point over there and now we have this um, you know align vector align vector will be along this direction and click just click ok and as soon as you click ok you will have this port along this direction so this port uh, goes into any of the component uh, of any pcb board or any electrical component and this port will have an routing path so this is how we, we can create a fitting port guys uh, please subscribe to my channel hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys